All right, guys, I'm here with Zoe Deutsch, who is star of Vampire Academy, coming out February 7th. Tell me about the audition process. How did this come to be? It's pretty boring. It's just that I auditioned and I got it somehow. Um, that sounds like a pretty great story to me. It's kind of how you want it to happen. It kind of had a beginning, no middle, and certainly an end. I'm not going to tell that story on Letterman, that's for sure. No, I was <laughs> testing it out here. It didn't work out very right well. Right yeah. here, folks. You right here. here. You heard it. The movie is called Vampire Academy. It is a huge hit with all of our editors who are, I will admit, not in the YA, maybe target demo, but we still love it. Um, but there are a few words that we weren't sure how to pronounce. So we thought maybe you could help us. <laughs> so I actually have a pronunciation. And don't feel bad you. that you, you guys couldn't pronounce it because literally when we all arrived in London, because it was awesome, we shot the movie in London. When we got there, we had no idea how to pronounce it, so we were on the phone, on speakerphone with Rochelle Mead, who wrote the book, and we were like, uh, how do you pronounce these things? Because we're about to make it into a movie, and we hope we do it correctly. So, <laughs> this right here is Dom Pierre. This is the type of vampire that I am, or my character is. My dad called it the other day a Dom Fairy. And then he said a damn fairy. And so then I said, no dad, it's Dom Pierre. Stop. All right, next one. Maroi. Maroi. And the Maroi are? Maroi's are full vampires. They need blood to survive. And they have magical powers. Okay. Now for the other kind. The Strigoi who are the bad, bad vampires, the undead ones. So basically the sole purpose of a Dompier is to protect a Maroi from a Strigoi. That's it, guys. So your movie's coming out a week before Valentine's Day. What is your ideal Valentine's Day? <laughs> um, Valentine's Day, I had an amazing Valentine's Day when I was um, young, a youngin. When I was like, I don't know, 14 or something, 15, I had a really sweet boyfriend who basically gave me, it was like the most insanely ideal, perfect Valentine's Day. Went and snuck into Huntington Gardens and he gave me um, a, a Tiffany's ring with like, it was like a circle, like infinity or whatever, I don't know. And, and then told me he loved me for the first time. I was like, well, that's kind of like, how am I gonna, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a 16-year-old kid. Yeah, yeah. Where, where are these guys? Well, he's, he was a jazz drummer, so he had some, he was very like suave. Like he knew he yeah. was, he knew, he, you know. He was, but I don't know. That was impressive. In your IMDb bio, Maybe. it says that you used to play out scenes with your dolls and weep for the Barbie that was down on her luck. What happened when your Barbies were down on their luck? What was the plot line? Oh, wow. Which ones? My illustrious Barbie uh, <laughs> storytelling career. I would totally, I mean, I cried a lot. And a lot. Jessica was, had an emotional time. Jessica. That's all I remember actually, that her name was Jessica. <laughs> That's it. Obviously, we have to ask you about Stinky Pete. Oh my God. This Stinky. isn't a question, but tell my us. My horror of a cat. Tell us about that dirty cat. He's a, the, that cat is a slut, literally. Like it, it sleeps around in the neighborhood. Like I can't. We it leads the most incredible life at my home, but he, he's like that that kind of um, irresponsible drug addict, thirteen year old son that you can't you can't control. Like yeah. I have no control over this cat. It just runs off, and so he's fine. I mean, rec I guess not recently. Like a year ago, he broke his jaw, and then we had to like lock him up for a couple weeks so we could get heal. He could heal after we oh, went to yeah. the vet. So and he couldn't since go then, out and just sow his wild oats in the Exactly, neighborhood. and ever since then, things have been rough, if you know what I mean. Stinky doesn't come around a lot. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>